Hey boys and girls, yesterday you watched a video where Miss Warner, another kindergarten teacher, read a book to you about ocean animals. And in particular, it was about two ocean animals. Can anybody remember what they are? Good. She read a book to you about sharks and dolphins. So today in our video, we are going to do a new writing called opinion writing. Does anybody know what an opinion is? That's right. An opinion is something that you think, something that you feel, something that you believe, something that you love, something that you like. Those are all kind of opinion words. And in our opinion writing today, we're going to write about which ocean animal do you like better. And yesterday in the book that you listened to Miss Warner read to you, she read lots of information on sharks and dolphins. So today you get to pick which one of those animals you like best, and we're gonna do some writing on it. Now you have a page in your packet that looks like this, and it's very similar to what I have here for you. So before we start writing, you need to think, hmm, which animal do I like better? Do I like the shark better, or do I like a dolphin better? And think about why. So I'm going to give you just a second to think about that before I be finished my writing. Okay, maybe you have a time. Maybe you haven't had enough time. Um, before we start writing, we also need to think about our steps that we have to remember in writing. The first thing is to always have a capital letter at the beginning of your sentence. And on your paper, they went ahead and started over here with the capital letter for I. And then the opinion word that they chose to use is like. So they have the word like already there for you. And I went ahead and put that on my paper just like it is on your paper. So I chose my personal opinion to be a dolphin. So I chose dolphin for my animal. And in just a minute, I'm going to tell you why. But remember that an opinion piece is what you feel. It's not what your mom thinks, or it's not what your brother thinks, or your little sister thinks. It's what you think. And so you're going to have to tell me in your writing why you chose that animal. So we're going to go ahead and get, get started writing. Uh, I have already I like. So my next word is going to be dolphin. But I have to put a space between my words, just like I have here. I have a finger space. I'm going to need a finger space here, and my next word is going to be dolphins. Can anybody tell me how I can spell it or where I can find it? That's right. It's right here. So I'm going to copy that word so that I don't have to worry about spelling it. So I'm going to copy my D-O-L-P-H. Remember, P-H makes that sound. Dolphin. And I can't leave it at dolphin because I listen to the sentence. I like dolphin. That doesn't make sense, does it? It needs to say, I like dolphins. So what can I add to it to make the sound? That's right. I'm going to put an S at the end. I like dolphins. All right. I like dolphins better because that's what we're writing about. Which one you like better? So at the top it says, which ocean animal do you like better? So I'm going to use this word right here, and I'm going to add the word better to my sentence right here. I like dolphins better. Remember, have your spacing. I'm copying that word right there. I like dolphins better. I like dolphins better than, hmm, than. That's a sight word, I believe. Th, 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 an, than. Th, T-H-A-N, that's right. Than. I like dolphins better than what? What was my other animal that I could choose from? That's right, it's sharks. So I'm going to put, I like dolphins better than sharks. And I can copy that word again right here. Sh R, ooh, bossy R, sharks. I like dolphins better than sharks. All right, now what do I need at the end of my sentence? I can have a question mark or an exclamation mark or a period. Which one do you think makes the best sense? That's right, a period. So I'm going to add a period at the end of my sentence right here. 
and it says, if you'll read with me, I like dolphins better than sharks. Now is where I get to tell why I like dolphins better. I'm going to choose something that wasn't in the book so that you can't copy my idea because this is my opinion and I want to know your opinion when you are writing. So I'm going to think of something that's not from the book that you listened to yesterday. And something that comes to the top of my mind is that when you go to the ocean sometimes, you are able to swim with dolphins. But it doesn't say that in the book, does it? Mm, no, that's right. So I'm going to put that you can swim with dolphins and you can't really swim with sharks, can you? What would a shark do if you tried to swim with it? Mm, I'd be too afraid to find out. So. I'm going to write, in my opinion, piece that dolphins, that you can swim with dolphins in the ocean. So let's see if I can figure that out. I can swim with dolphins in the ocean. All right, that's a lot of words. Let's count those words. I can swim with dolphins in the ocean. I got eight, so we're going to write eight words in this sentence. The first word is going to be I. What do we need to do with the letter I? That's right, we're going to make it capital. So I'm going to leave a little space after my period and I'm going to write a capital I just like that. Good. My next word is going to be can. Can is a sight word too. Remember that k and, it's part of the and family. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space and I'm going to write can. Can. C A N. I can. Now, what was our sentence? Hmm. I can swim. That's right. Swim. Sw, 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 swim. Good. Let's sound that word out and write it together. Sw, sw is the S W. Sw, I, 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 M. Good, swim. I can swim with, that's right, with, another sight word, w -i Let's write that word together. w -i Very good. All right, I can swim with, now what was my topic about? That's right, it was about dolphins. So I'm not gonna write sharks because I don't wanna swim with sharks. I'm gonna write dolphins again. So I already have dolphins once, I have it twice. So I'm gonna copy dolphins right here. You can write or you can watch. Dolphins. So let's read our sentence so far. I can swim with dolphins. Now, where can I swim with dolphins again? In the swimming pool? No, where can I swim? In the ocean, that's right. So let's finish our sentence out. I can swim with dolphins in the ocean. Are you ready? In is an easy word. I in, that's right. Skip my space, finger space apart. In the, very good, sight word. Now, ocean. Ocean is a tricky word, but guess what? It's already on my paper. Remember our sentence, our question for the day says, which ocean animal do you like better? Ocean is right here. So I'm gonna copy ocean and put it down here. O-C-E-A-N. O-C-E-A-N. That is a word that definitely does not follow our rules about spelling. My sentence, I can swim with dolphins in the ocean. What do I need to put at the end of it? Remember, we have a question mark, a period, or an exclamation mark. Would swimming in the ocean with dolphins be exciting? I sure think it would, so I'm gonna use an exclamation mark at the end of my sentence. There we go, now let's read this together. I like dolphins better than sharks. I can swim with dolphins in the ocean. And you are more than welcome to use your paper to write more than one sentence about why you like which animal you like better and why you like it the most. 
I'm going to stop right there because I don't want to give away all of the good hints on why I like dolphins better than sharks. So I hope you have fun riding. I miss all of you so much. Even my friends that aren't in my classroom, I still see your smiling faces walking up and down the hall, and I miss you very much. I'm sad that we can't end this year together. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you learned a lot about sharks and dolphins, and I hope you cannot wait to get busy riding. See you next time.